Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A little double upload for the Wednesday because we have some headliner stuff going on and we're still gonna try to make some Thursday flipping investments today. Now, I have done a lot of my investing already and I'm curious to see what the market does into Wednesday because a lot of stuff went up already from Tuesday as the um, road to the finals my bad, hit the mic, road to the finals, and the freeze cards went out of packs. A lot of stuff on the market actually ended up rising in the past 24 hours or so inside of FIFA. So I want to talk about right now what I think still could be investable, regardless of whether you see a little bit of a drop today. I just want to kind of talk to you guys about Thursday investments that you still could be making because there's going to be prices, right? We do this all the time. There's prices that you can find on Tuesdays, on Wednesdays, literally right before rewards. You can find cards that are low. You can find cards that you can buy for a rewards flip. Now, I want to take you guys through my transfer list right now because this is the best way for me to explain to you what I'm liking from rewards this week. We're going to take a look at a team of the week prediction for what team of the week could be coming out today. It's looking bad. Again, another poor team of the week, honestly, unless EA throws something in to juice it up. So that means red picks won't be affecting too much, I guess. Link investments at all this week. But I'm really looking at a lot of stuff that I saw last week as well. Pretty similar to last week, I'm looking at lower budget cards. Even though we're not sure about headliners and team of the year and what's going to be happening with that, I feel like a lot more people that have started the game recently inside of FIFA 21 are still going to be pumped about buying cards, upgrading their team from Rivals Rewards, from Foot Champions Rewards. So a lot of the cards you're going to see here on my transfer list are like, you know, most of them are 200k or under, and a lot of them are under the 100k range. And it's a, a lot of those popular players. One thing that I saw last week was a lot of players that are on that low level budget, right? 150k and under. A lot of those players out of pack in forums and promo cards did exceptional last week. This Pepe Europa League road to the final went from 43,000 coins last week to 57. He's back down in the 40s. This is one of my favorites, to be completely honest with you, this week. I have a couple of him, uh, I think, right around the range of about 48 to 49,000 coins. I'm a big big fan of this one because again this is just a card that a lot of people are going to be using um in you know the early stages right or if they're running a cheap team this guy's pretty rare too right and he went up a lot last week i think this week he can go up pretty high as well diogo jota is another one as a basically similar card uh in, t in the terms of a team of the tournament item but just a low rated player in foot that a lot of people are probably going to want to try to upgrade their teams with. Now, the number one tip I will give you guys is since the market's kind of dead right now, sniping works as always, but look at the open bids because there's so many open bids that go for, you know, three, four, 5,000 coins under the lowest buy it now. And especially when you're at a price range under 100K, that's basically covering your tax amount. So definitely look at open bids for a few of these cards. I've seen multiple of these Jotas pop up, a multiple of the Pepes, pop up um, around that price range that are, you know, you can you can get on bid. As you can see here on my transfer targets, a lot of these cards that I'm looking at have been open bids, right? This Neuer, this Werner I was watching, this Depay. I'm watching a lot of the open bids because you can catch a lot of deals there and quick flip cards for profit, but also, um, you know, get yourself a, bet a better deal in terms of a card you're going to be selling after rewards. So, those are a couple cards I'm liking. I have this Neuer in form because of the Alaba that has been invested in so much this week. Uh, Road to the final is up a lot. Road to the final Alaba is flying. Um, and that's because a lot of people are investing. But sometimes when people invest in cards like that, they actually put them into their team and play with them too. So this card right now, he was almost 190,000 coins last week after rewards. He's back down to 170. Neuer is a very rare card in this game. I like this price. I like this card a decent amount. I like Donnarumma because we might be getting Screening R this week. We might be getting an Izzo center back as well um, in the Serie A. And this is kind of just like the best Serie A goalkeeper uh, other than Handanovic. Uh, I like this card a lot because he's very rare. Record breakers are pretty rare. This guy at around 100,000 coins is a steal. I got him right there at 100K. Werner last week was a big one. He went from like 230 to 260. So I got this one at 234 today. I got this Mares at 108. 
he should be going to like 120. Actually, I should be I should be pumping this up because he should be going up to about 120k uh, after rewards. I have a couple taverniers there. I'm just kind of holding on to those. Uh, I bought them at 20k, hoping to get some lazies at 27. And then I have these Andres and these Kamaras because I'm a huge fan of both of these guys. I think these guys haven't gone up enough just yet but those are very meta players that rise almost every week man so the best way to look to really find stuff this week in terms of what you should be flipping i've kind of told you like the range that you might be you might want to be looking towards in terms of a price value and just kind of what cards to look at but let's take a look at some graphs so i can actually show you cards that you might want to keep an eye on this rafinha 84 rated right mid pacey brazilian player from the Premier League, right? Last week, he went from 104,000 coins all the way up to 118, 120. That's a really solid rise when you only have about 6K of tax when you're selling at the peak. 6K of tax uh, means you're making almost, not quite 10K a card, but pretty close to 10K a card uh, right there on that Rafinha. That's that's solid profit, right? That's a solid profit um, on a card like that right there. That was a very nice rise. I think this Mendy card is going to be a good one this week. Um, he's already up a decent amount. He was in the mid thirties. He's already up to 42 K. So that's a bit inflated already. But basically what you can do is, is you can take a look through here. I bought a Vardy tonight on stream at 410. That was way too low. Sancho was 274. That was way too low. I didn't buy it though. VVD is looking pretty cheap right now. Just kind of scroll through these team of the weeks. And again, look for those cheaper players. Easy with Carrasco. He might be getting a team of the week today. And look and see if they had a fluctuation last week. Here's the Neuer, right? Here's the Neuer card from last week. He went from 163 to 189, 190. Has now dropped in the 170s. And I think he's going to go back up to the 180, 190 range on the market. So I really like the out-of-pack stuff again this week. Big fan of that. Um, you know, a guy like this, Llorente, is 175 because... Like uh, this, uh, I think this prediction right here has Carrasco 86, and that would be a card a lot of people would be interested in. So I'm kind of taking this in, getting interested in it, and that's of course why you're seeing Urente has risen so much, and also why you have seen this Torreya card rise so much as well. I'm pretty sure this Torreya was like like 40k or 45,000 coins at his lowest, 50k, and he's already up to 60k. He's up like 10k already. Um, from people buying this card. Yeah, he was in the 40s. I remember seeing him in the 40s. But this guy's getting invested in a lot for the possible link investment to Carrasco. This team of the week is looking real bad, right? Casemiro, Langley, Izzo, Skriniar, Philip Max, Carrasco, Muriel, and Chalhanoglu are like the best guys in this team of the week. And if you look at the foothead prediction, it's basically the same. It's not looking good this week for that team of the week so that tells me that probably if you pack somebody in reds this week you're most likely not going to be using them this joao felix is actually looking pretty good right now he was 80k earlier in the week um and under 80k but he was even higher than that just a few hours ago he was in the mid to upper 80s 85 87k he peaked out uh, a little bit ago if you can find this in the low 80s on either console or under 80k that would be fantastic so um, I think there's going to be a lot of buys again on the lower tier range because a lot of people kind of forget about these earlier team of the weeks. This Zaha Valverde at 180. That's not a bad price. Now I can't actually afford this card right now because I don't have the coins, but this Valverde has been tinkering around the 190,000 coin price range before today. And if he's actually 180 right now, that's kind of cheap because usually he's around 190 plus. And as you can see, he usually is around 190 plus. That must have been an undercut. That inform Zaha. The first inform is the one that I flipped last week. It was a great weekend league flip, man. He went from like mid 120s all the way up to like 147, almost to 150. So a 20K rise on that card, 25K rise. This week, it might not be as good. But again, if you can find this in the low 130s, I'm a big fan or under 130K for that card. That's a pretty good one. And then, of course, we look at guys like this every single week, right? We look at my guy, Ali Watkins. First of all, I like this card because it sells for lazies so freaking well because he has the first inform, making the second one hard to find. Um, this guy in the mid to low 50s, like 54,000 coins, is a buy for me, right? He's 57, 58. He's probably going 60,000 coins plus this weekend. I like him a lot. And then again, maybe on a bit of a higher note, I showed you a card that I had on my transfer targets 
uh, was Timo Werner, who is 236K at the moment. I'll show you his graph because his graph went kind of crazy last week. Uh, he went from 239 on the PlayStation and 209 on the Xbox all the way to 236 on the Xbox and 263. So he basically went up 30,000 coins on both consoles. When your tax here is right around 13K, 12K, 12.5K, that's, uh, that's a pretty solid after-tax profit per card. So watch this, Werner. I think some of these cards that are just the lower tier team of the weeks from earlier on, they just kind of get forgotten about. And for whatever reason, um, they just they just get forgotten about, man. And it, that makes a possible investment scenario uh, where you have not very many people investing in them, which means the market rise is a true market rise and it's not really hindered or flawed by people trying to actually buy up those cards and you don't have any undercutting and stuff like that from other people who are trying to sell. So if you can find some of these team of the weeks from earlier on, I like that a lot because there's less competition, less people investing in those cards. Now let's talk about a, a buy time and a sell time. Again, whatever happens today for content on Wednesday with the team of the week, that might be a time frame where you can say, I'm going to be on the market, try to catch some undercuts. If we get some information about like a scream uh, or not a scream, sorry. I saw Firmino and I thought of scream Firmino for a second right there. Uh, if and we get a loading screen, about anything related to the upcoming headliners promo or team of the year or anything like that, that might cause a little bit of panic pre rewards, which could, which could create another opportunity to buy some of those cards again and find some deals and make some coins off of that. So just keep an eye out for some of that. But other than that, man, it's honestly a per card basis. It's per card basis. I'm sticking to the out of pack stuff this week. Out of packs cards just they just fluctuate in general. Could you go with golds? Uh, yeah, you you probably could buy some golds this week. And let's take a look at golds just one second. Um, Mbappe and Neymar really aren't weakly flipping investments. Rashford is up about eight to nine thousand coins on both consoles from where he was at on his very lowest on Monday when they dropped the second party bag SBC. He was down at like 84, 85k. He has bounced back 10k since then. If you bought then, you're chilling, right? If we get like tradable pack supply or anything today that would make this card drop down, that could be another buy window, I suppose. Just remember when you're buying these cards, always try to get them with a good chem style because that is huge and that will help you out. Pogba, 107. Pogba gets undercut all the time according to Footbin, man. It's just like a Footbin glitch. I'm kind of liking Pogba this week because of the French links. He's probably not going to be too over-invested in because of last week he was out of packs and everybody was buying him up. Um, so this week, I don't think you'll have that many issues with over-investing with this Pogba. Um, so this could be a good weekend league flip as well. He might go from like 115 to almost 130. If you can try to snag him under 110, like this 111, is that getting insta-bought? It's not. So maybe if you can try and snag him on PlayStation in the 110 range or lower, that'd be great. If we're on Xbox, you'd try, probably, Xbox, it looks pretty low right now. Probably like 90K or below would be a good buy for Pogba. But, you know, some of the golds just go up every single stinking week, right? Even a guy like Salah, Joe Gomez, maybe, because again, you, you have a very new crowd that is playing this game right now. People that got the game for Christmas, for the holidays, um, they're on probably lower budgets, right? So that's going to create some of those lower tier cards, possibly getting a bit of a rise. That's why we're buying the lower tier informs and out of pack specials, but it could potentially impact the golds as well. This Salah card last week did very well. Um, with the SBC and content that came out with like Wijnaldum and stuff and the, the Firmino SBC. If you're doing the Firmino SBC, you might be linking Salah to him. So, you know, watch this card again this week. I think it could do decent just because, again, of the lack of the right wings in the Premier League. But again, I'm sticking to Premier League, French, Brazil. Just look through some of those past specials, man. I think that would be just the, the best place to go. Get on the bids, right? Konate would be a good one. Renato Sanchez is a good one. He fluctuates literally every week. This Laporte fluctuates on his own really crazy. He's probably going to be pretty expensive post rewards this week. French center back. He's really low on PlayStation right now. He was 500K just a couple hours ago. He hits like 530, 540 every single day. You might find an open bid on a card. I saw it just a minute ago. There was an open bid under 500. Where was it at? 499 right there for that one. Are there any other open bids? There's not really. But you might be able to snag an open bid like right before rewards. So just because you haven't bought your, your weekend league flipping investments right 
and it's like right before rewards, doesn't mean it's a problem, right? I think you can still make some of those investments like right before, get on the open bids, especially if it's late night. That can be a great time to make some of those buys. Now let's talk sell time, right? Sell time for any of these cards. I'm probably gonna be getting most of my cards out, done and dusted, flipped and profited. Probably Friday morning would be my deadline, right? Now what we have seen is, so many people continue to do Thursday flipping and it's a very popular thing to do on this game. So you see a lot of selling on Thursday after rewards. If you don't get many sales Thursday after rewards, yes, there is a little bit more risk of EA putting out some sort of loading screen, some sort of content that makes your stuff crash down in value. But a lot of times it's worth taking that risk. And if you bought meta cards, cards that people want to actually use, they continue to go up into Friday morning. And that's when even we look at a lot of these footprint graphs, you see the peak is on Friday, that Friday morning time frame when most people are done selling their investments. So stuff continues to naturally rise as people who actually want to buy those cards for weekend league, keep buying them. You see a lot of those out of pack cards, cards, even the gold cards reach their peak. So that's what I would say. Again, the popular thing now is to actually hold your investments through Thursday, take a little bit extra risk and, um, and hold those cards. Cause sometimes we even get content on Thursday and the cards still go up into Friday. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. That's what I would do. If you don't want to take any risks though, you could sell pre 6 PM on Thursday. That's the safe way to do it. I'm probably going to be holding through. I'm literally 100% invested right now. I hope this Vardy can sell though before rewards because I would like to put this 440k into other small cards instead of just this Vardy. Although I think he will do pretty decent this week. That could be like, I could literally buy like five Pepe's with that and then some. So I would love to be able to flip this and then buy something else. But that's kind of a Thursday flipping video for this week, boys. Kind of a normal week, kind of the same guidelines as last week. In my opinion, I like the cheap stuff. I like the meta stuff. Um, and cause that's the stuff that went up last week. Again, use Footbin, the most, the best tool to use for looking at those fluctuations is 100% Footbin. I don't think there's any new objective cards that we have to worry about this week in terms of what people got that they might want to play with. Maybe some more La Liga teams, maybe like a Sergio Ramos gold or an inform would be a look um, because of the people that did the Kappa. Um, but that is now expired. So still, I think people are rocking a lot of untradeable teams as well, um, which means League One players like that Depay that I looked at could be pretty decent. Just kind of keep in mind, since we're heading into headliners slash team of the year, whatever is going to happen. Um, a lot of people are still using kind of the untradeable mindset or like the low cost mindset, which is why we're focusing on those lower tier cards for rewards flips. So if you enjoyed this video, smash your thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the foot account. Catch you guys later. Peace.